So I why didn't you just go get another shelf then? Exactly. Well, I just got what I could afford. Like I said, we were trying to save money. I think you should have talked to me about it versus just ghosting me. I mean, you didn't talk to me about it, so I don't feel like I had no, you know, explanation. Damn. I know. He got I you with like that. You know what it is. Wow. He just shot right yeah, back. Yeah. Back to break down this clip. It comes from the Young Jock Morning Show, The Streets Morning Takeover, featuring Young Jock, comedian Shawty Shawty, and Miss Shanika. A woman, she put together this really nice dinner for her man. It included a private chef, but things did not go the way that she wanted. We're going to go ahead and jump into it, but first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for updates. Won't waste any time. Let's get into it. This is Cheyenne. How are you guys? Hey, good All morning, right? Cheyenne. What's up? So listen, I had this extremely dope date with this fine guy that I like. His name was Corey. I kind of decided I wanted to treat him to something. Mm. Vacation. We've been trying to save money, build a house. So I just want to kind of keep it simple. I decided to hire a private chef mm -hmm. to come to the house, cook us a nice dinner. Nice. I set the mood. We had a very, very good night. And mm. then about two days later, I never heard from him again. Basically, I'm trying to figure Wait out. Wait a minute. Like, this is somebody you've been dating for a minute and you, you ain't heard from in two days after y'all had this romantic setting. I mean, I'm talking y'all, we've been dating for at least five months at this point. But after this beautiful evening, about two days later, I'm texting him good morning like we always do. I'm getting left on red. Mm. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to hit your man, Corey, and see why this dilemma is what it is right now. You stay on the line. We will get to the bottom of this, all right? Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Hold on. So what do you think her dilemma is? Maybe the food was nasty. No, nah, you could be moving too fast. We could just be smashing for five months. So did she propose? We could be, you could get, it's the person that might be probably asking for help. Hello. Honestly, I'm not sure what the issue could be. It sounds like they had a really good night. Right out the gate though, what seems to be a little off to me is why would they be talking about buying a house together after only dating for five months? It seems to be a bit of a rush there. Five months, that is not enough time to be talking like that. They don't even know each other. And look at this now. They're already having issues. Not sure what that issue is, but let's go ahead and keep listening. Hey, good morning. Let's do the Corey. Hey, this is Corey, you woke, what? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm up. Young Jock is on your phone. Miss Shanika and Shada Shada, we on your line, man. Yep. Right now, we have a segment on our show called The Date Dilemma. There's a dilemma we need your help with. Do you hear what I'm saying, Corey? I'm on the radio. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Can you roll your windows up? Can you soundproof your car right there as you are on the radio? All uh, right, yeah, yeah. All right, I got you. Are you familiar with Cheyenne? Cheyenne, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened with you and Cheyenne, bro? She called us and told us last time y'all talked, she set up a whole nice romantic evening for you. Y'all had a staycation. Uh, she said it was, a, it was a beautiful affair, and she ain't heard from you ever since that. Uh, like two man, days that, after that. That's like a little long story, man. Uh, can you give it I to mean, us in the short it, form? Yeah, yeah, man. It was, it was good. Don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. She did set up something for us. We were talking for a little minute, but we did go like on a little, uh, she did do a little dinner, how the chef and everything. I kind of, like, I was feeling everything. We've been talking for a minute, and I got around my uh, my people and was showing them her and everything like that. You know, basically just saying, you know, who I was interested in, who I'm talking to, stuff like that. And then showing them how the night went and, and you know, the chef and all that. And then and my homegirl telling me, that she was dating the dude that I was showing her, the chef. Oh, hell no. She hmm? had to mess with Wait, hold on. Say that again. Oh, what, what, yeah, wait, you heard what wait. he said. You said yeah, so. your, your homegirl you was showing the, the video, the pictures to. Yeah, she said she, she, was, she was kicking it with the chef for a while. Same person that making me meals standing behind me, yeah. So that was kind of weird to me, so yeah. That's I bad, weird. weird. Nah, wait a minute. He just said that they had this romantic dinner. She plans everything and had a private chef there. He's all excited about his night. He mentioned it to his friends and his friend, one of his homegirls, ended up outing his girlfriend and told them that their fancy chef for the night, that was her ex. Now, there may be a few people that may not have a problem with that, but I think that most people, men and women, they wouldn't like that at all. So, I, so you didn't confront her? No, nah, I ain't confront her, man. That's you, that's all I need to know. <laughs> but was the food good? Yeah, the food was good. Now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't even want to eat it now, but, I mean, it was good. How, how did you meet the chef? How did I wonder? She hired the chef. She hired yeah, the yeah, chef. She, yeah, she, she hired the chef. I'm trying to save money and stuff, and, you know, I got things I got going on. I guess she did that kind of looking out, but that was a little weird after I found out what was going on for real. I know, it, I know damn well it was. Allegedly, the chef 
and your girl Cheyenne been messing around? I mean, I had I been messing say, around. It had, it had to be too. I mean, so who she know the chef? Yeah, she was called the chef, but she she know the chef, and she know they used to be dating. Who was that in the past? And they ain't messing around no more. That that was in the past, and they able to uh, work professionally. I mean, still. I, I mean, how would you feel about? It? I mean, she ain't wrong to tell me. I got people standing around me. I mean, I can't trust her. Like, if we go anywhere, I don't know who she was talking to. That right there is just too wild. At the end of the day, it's a very small world, and she should have told him that. But I think we all know if she would have told him, he would have told her not to hire her ex to serve them dinner. So, yeah, if this is all true, she's definitely being sneaky. And it's a thousand chefs in the world. You only you only pick that one. Well, he probably the one that he got probably the best got that food. Five. <laughs> he probably won with the best steak. Uh-huh. He, 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 he know what he meet like. I don't know. At the, end, at the end of the night, though, I mean, we did, you know what I'm saying? So That meat I mean, is meaty. So was, was the meat tender? <laughs> man, y'all wild, wow, man. Like I said, I, I mean, yeah, when I found out that, man. What was the meat tough? <laughs> Stop, shout Man. Listen, Court. <laughs> yeah. Court, court, you tell him what is the limo, dog? That's yeah. why we're here. We're trying to... <laughs> Man, I don't even want to talk about the food. Okay, yeah. I, mean, I don't even think about that night. Yeah, I don't want to either, but I do want to talk about this young lady. Matter of fact, she she is on the phone, so she heard everything you just said. Diane, now why I you do that? Know. Why you do that? You're missing your meat like that. <laughs> so, I, want, I, want, I want to hear I what you got. What you got to say? I know that. Yeah, because why would you laugh, Cheyenne? You calling to get this man back? I don't. I don't know what's funny about that. Honestly, to me, this is really not funny. I know a lot of people don't like to play around with their food. And this goes for both men and women. Nobody's trying to be with their man and woman in a private setting as well. With their ex, they are responsible for their food. Not to say that everybody is crazy and somebody will do something, but you just never know. It's just not cool. And like he said, it's like a thousand chefs. Why she had to call that one? No, it's not funny, but I think it's, I think his homegirl over exaggerated so like yes i did in the past used to mess with this chef but we were better off as friends and again i told you we were trying to save money <laughs> i knew he was a chef i knew he would give me a good deal on coming to cook for i mean i don't know what you did to get that good deal <laughs> no i mean nothing recently but i mean it's over we're clearly friends he has a woman and i'm focused on Corey, so that's why i don't understand so like, so why didn't you just go get another shelf then exactly well i just got what i could afford like i said we were trying to save money i think you should have talked to me about it versus just ghosting me i mean you didn't talk to me about it so i don't feel like i had no you know explanation. damn i know he got I you with like that he you know wow he just shot right that, back. that wasn't no staycation that was a meet and greet <laughs> wow. I, don't know what, I don't know what you got going on, but I won't win it. Wow, he made a really good point. I think he could have still picked up the phone and told her about the information that he found out. Because what if it wasn't true? Well, in this case, it was true. But like he just said, though, he thought he did not owe her an explanation because she didn't explain that to him that her ex was going to be fixing their dinner, being in a private staycation with them. So yeah, any way it goes, that's still out of line. And if that's the way that he decided that he wanted to deal with it, that's fine with me because that could have been a really crazy situation. Most people are not cool or comfortable with that. That's very sneaky. All right, so look, man, this is a date dilemma. We're trying to help y'all fix this dilemma. Look, man, the, the young lady knew what it was. She wanted to do something special for you. That's all that she could afford. She got somebody she know would give her a good deal to cook for y'all. Although in the past, those who have tangled or tallied around a time or two. But now it's about you and her, and she wants to let you know, look, she wants to be with you. What is it going to be, Corey? Man, I feel like she got somebody else to stir her pasta. Yeah. Oh! Good dog. All right, so Corey says he's not taking Cheyenne back. In my opinion, I don't think that Corey was overreacting, and I can see how he can't trust her moving forward. He's up there trying to brag about this wonderful night that he had with her to only find out that the chef that was cooking for them in their private setting was her ex. Now, I know some people out there, they may disagree, but just think about it, especially the ladies out there. Imagine if your man planned a private dinner for you and he hired a woman that he used to mess around with to cook your food and you didn't know anything about it. 
Or if your man hired a babysitter and the babysitter turns out to be his ex and you didn't know anything about it or he used to mess around with her. Like y'all know that would be an issue, it wouldn't be cool. In this situation, I believe the right solution was already made here. Corey, he was right to leave Cheyenne alone because she can't be trusted. She kept talking about doing something nice for him and saving money, but why would you hire your ex? I don't know why this scene of I think the movie Soul Food just kept coming up in my head during this. When Nia Long's character, she called up her ex to get a job for her husband. You know, some stuff is just out of line. You gotta know your boundaries. If she wanted to do something nice for him and she can afford a chef, why didn't she just cook the meal herself? But let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. Do you think that Corey was overreacting? Go ahead and let me know what you think below in the comments. Special thank you to Tyrone W, Amoyle, Dark Power, and Ivory. I appreciate all of you for your support. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.